Hello, it's Sharif here with Engadget, and I'm joined by Guido from Wacom. Hi, Sharif. We're looking at the 22HD, the Cintiq 22HD, which has just come out and is a replacement for the 21UX. Yes. And I guess the name of the product tells us the main difference. Correct. Yes, we have uh, improved the panel, or we have changed the panel. We went back uh, away from the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, and now we have a 16 by 9 widescreen, full HD resolution panel in here. LED, LED edge backlighting, mm -hmm. high contrast, higher brightness than the previous model, so really designed for the creative professional. And unlike the um, Cintiq 24 HD, which we saw recently uh, from Wacom, this doesn't have the, uh, what did you call it, the ergo we stand? Call it ergo stand, yes. This has the uh, rotation stand. Yes, correct. Is that a sacrifice or do you do that deliberately or? Yes, it, it, it's not really a sacrifice, so it's, it was really, a, if, you, if you ask our customers, you always have two groups of people, one want perfect ergonomics and one want to have close as traditional working style and both is not possible, so we have decided, okay, with the 22 and the slightly smaller size, it's easier and more natural to implement implement the rotation stand so you yep. can tilt it up and down very easily yep. from almost upright and if you have it tilted you can rotate the unit in the stand as a traditional piece of paper or as a traditional sketch pad on paper. So let's go to full portrait mode and yep. have a look. Like this, and right. you can do the strokes here, and then you can rotate it back and do your strokes here. Gotcha. So, this is the idea is to give people a choice. If they want yes. the ergo stand, they get the, yeah. the 24, but if they um, really want this sort of more hands up, hands on tactile approach, then exactly. they go for, yeah. they go for the this ergo model. Stand, the ergo stand is okay, here you can use digital or software rotation, and you have premium ergonomics, and here you have the more hands on style, more natural. I noticed at the back we're looking at um, different cables. Here. Yes. You've thought about um, durability here, I guess, because before the cables were hardwired. Yes, we had one, 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 uh, approximately one centimeter diameter thick cable, mm -hmm. which was very convenient when using in rotation. But if you have have had too much torsion on the cable, it could have happened that one of the wires break, and you always had to replace the whole cable, which can only be done in our service center. And although we have an on-site exchange, you always have a couple of hours downtime. Yes. And here, you can simply unscrew some of the screws and we are using standard cables which you can buy on any high street shop and can use and replace every cable. Sure, and, and there's USB on the back, is there? Um, um, on, on the side, on the yes. peripherals. On the side we have a USB 2.0 socket, so we look. can oh, easily yeah. connect um, a color calibrator, a web camera or any other thumb drive, so like on the bigger Cintiqs, we yep. have the same here. Yep. Um, now let's go to the front. And a quick, a quick um, overview of the buttons. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. The buttons, the buttons, for example, are also improved. We made them bigger and easier to address by the finger, by the thumb, and also uh, from a, from a tactile feedback, more convenient for the user. And also, we have combined the express keys, as we call them, with the on-screen display. So, if you want to conveniently adjust brightness and the color gamut, you can use the quick access button here and can really use the express keys to control your own on screen settings like adjusting brightness, RGB levels and color presets. Sure. And instead of, um, you call them touch rings, right? Yes. Uh, but we don't have touch rings here, we have the strips. You have the touch strips. Uh, probably give it to you here on the back side. This can be... This is a bit tricky to see because yeah, it's okay. dark back here. But it's like this. It's all right. There we go. So, now this can be now conveniently operated by your index finger by just moving your finger here up and down. You mm -hmm. have an indicator mark for the middle position here. Yep. And you can operate the express keys with your thumb and with, with your index finger you can use the touch strip at the same time, which is a benefit for your workflow. Understood. Okay, um, and so this now fits into your lineup in a slightly different way because the lineup has, has changed. We also I just had the announcement of your 24 HD yes. touch. Yeah. So this is now the, um, I guess the, the the basic model. This for is, I would call it the, the the we call it more traditional model. So mm -hmm. it's 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 from our desktop Cintiq range. It's I think the most affordable model. Mm -hmm. So it's priced 15.99 British pounds. Um, I think it was um, 2,000 uh, US dollars no, plus 2,000 US dollars tax. exactly. Okay. Yes, and this is the entry to our desktop Cintiq series, yeah. Okay, okay. $2,000 plus tax and available. Uh, we 
think mid July, right? Yes, the global launch date is July 10th, 10th. and at the same time, you can order it already in distribution or at your local dealer. Lovely. Thank you, Guido. Thank you, Shari. Bye bye. Bye.